Scientists all over the world have been researching on various aspects of this universe like stars, galaxies, etc. But have you ever wondered how this universe started? It all began when Einstein's equations were used by Alexander Friedman and he made a few assumptions and came up with how the universe started and could end. The same was discovered independently by the great astronaut Edwin Hubble who identified a Cepheid variable star in a nebula and proved that it was beyond the Milky Way and so the universe was full of galaxies. As the science of spectroscopy developed, astronomers started studying starlight to see what the stars are made up of. Interestingly they noticed that the wavelength in the starlight were slightly shifted, this could only be explained by the Doppler effect, as a consequence of which, an approaching star has its light shifted to shorter wavelength, the blue shift, and a receding star has its light shifted to longer wavelength, red shift, dot in the majority of the galaxies seem to racing away, red shifted, from the Milky Way. In 1929, Hubble showed that there is a direct relationship between galaxies' distance and velocity, known as Hubble's Law. His measurement seemed to imply that universe started in a small, condensed state and then, expanded outwards, and it continues to expand today. Is this the evidence for a Big Bang? There are plenty of evidences in favor and against the Big Bang theory. CMBR is one such accidental observation in favor of Big Bang. It is basically the faint electromagnetic background radiation of the early universe. Dot. Big Bang started from a really small point, all of modern day physics breaks at this point, then it started to expand, this expansion is better known as cosmic inflation. But one major drawback was that the mathematics that suggested a different rate of expansion than the observed one. That's where cosmic inflammation came into picture. It lasted for some 10 carat minus 36 seconds after the Big Bang, singularity to a time between 10 carat minus 33 and 10 carat minus 32 seconds after the Big Bang. Also looking at the percent abundance of elements, the most abundant is hydrogen, 739,000 ppm, then helium and other lighter elements, this too was in support of Big Bang theory, as the simplest atom was hydrogen and according to physicists, the first element formed must be hydrogen and it should also be the most abundant one. Also the question arises, whether ours is the only universe or, was there something before it? The universe kept on expanding and cooling, and giving birth to the first stars, galaxies, habitable planets and ultimately us.